Last week's round was really rough. It really left me with a decision to make. Do I keep going and try to plow through this, or is it time to just recognize that golf is not for me? I decided to go to the range a couple times and really worked my tail off, so I'm pretty excited for today. We're going to get out there, do everything we can, and uh, despite this drive, I don't necessarily trust my driver after what happened last week either, so we'll see how much we use it. But it was a gorgeous day, and I was really enjoying all of these beautiful fall colors. A shot like that is definitely not going to change my mood today. It was really interesting to experience all of it today, actually. We're going to see a theme start up here with that great drive, a topped pitch, a great chip, and your typical finish. There's a lot of good about it. This was the best. After hitting that strike, this is a 7-iron, 8-iron. I actually hit a second one, too. And the second one went exactly where the first did. It was beautiful. It really gave me confidence in my irons today. Not quite able to put that down for birdie, but I'm never complaining about par, that's for sure. This was a tough drive. I had a group that wanted me to go ahead of them, so I was pretty rushed. And uh, you saw two of them. There was a third one as well, and all three were just rushed bad drives. This one, the one that was in play, left me with a crazy lie. It <laughs> that was a beautiful shot, but because of that massively uphill lie, the thing just went flying sky high on me. Slightly chunky, pulled it a little bit. And that left me in the sand for what might be my funnest sand adventure of the year. Oh yeah, I was confused until I looked down <laughs> right off the lip. And then, just to make sure I got it over it, I put in a little bit too much and uh, that thing rolled. Read the green wrong, completely wrong direction there, go figure. This is a theme that continues to not just this round, but beyond. Um, apparently my short game needs a lot of work. You, you've probably seen that too. But we're back testing the driver here. And uh, today is used ball day. So <laughs> every single one of these balls I found on a previous round. So I was just working on it, really. We got one in play, even though it was topped. And a really, really solid follow-up. Straight down the middle, basically. Give us a nice little chunky chip onto the green. It was really windy out there today. Triple putt for a quadruple bogey. There's that theme again though. Bad drive, great fairway shot. But yeah, that wind. I, I don't know how much the wind was playing a role, but that wind was real out there. So I lobbed that one pretty high and uh, once more said, really, can, can I do it again? I wanna see that again. And yeah, the answer is yes. It was, it was awesome. At least for my short irons, I can definitely count on my short irons. 
chipping, however, leaves something to be desired. Just missed. Yep. And barely over the green. Triple bogey. All right. I've officially given up on my driver for the day. I'm only going to ever hit it if I feel like wasting balls. So four hybrid here. For an incredible stinger down the middle. That stinger had a massive slice on it, but left me in great position for this. Which was a slight pull, but still left me on the green. We we're putting for birdie. Well, there's a lot that I need to work on. I'm definitely a fan of most of my lag putting. I seem to get pace fairly decent most days. All right, here we go. What can we do with this club again? Strike one. Strike two. Strike three. I think that one's in play, but it ain't pretty. Mm. Neither is that. We had a top there, and this one got it fairly okay. Left me with a chip. Oh gosh, it's still going. It's still going. <laughs> Never ending chip. And your traditional three putt. Back to one of my nemeses here. This is a par three, hole number eight. About a hundred and twenty yards. Didn't quite catch all of that, so a little bit short here. Long par putt here. And misread the break a little bit at the end. Tough pin placement today. Yeah, I'm so counting that. I missed it because I wanted to make sure that you guys could see the hole. I'm like, if the camera gets in the way, nope. So I took my four hybrid out here. I was trusting it would work well for me. It did not work well for me. <laughs> First was a massive rope hook. The second one was a little chunky, I think. I pulled out the three wood here in the fairway and must have thinned the snot out of it as it just pulled straight down that left line. And over here, yeah, that one went out of bounds, so I had to drop. And uh, this is another good reference for what it was experiencing today. That right there was intended to be the actual chip, completely whiffed. And there is what may very well be the best shot of the day, or one of them actually. Completely blind to the pin, but this is what I've got. A putt for double bogey <laughs> from about 10 feet. You know, all things considered, today was actually a pretty positive day. My final score was pretty average, but I hit the ball a lot better than I was hitting last week. Enough so that most of my irons went pretty darn straight. 
I only topped seven of them. Chunked one, four slices, two hooks, and most of those hooks and slices were the driver, actually. So the real problem that I'm left with now is I'm topping things too much. So that should be a fairly ready fix. That and I gotta work on that driver. My final score though was 15 over for this front nine and uh, that put me at 50 in total. But as you can see there, fairways hit. One, two, three, four, five, six fairways hit. Once I put away that driver, I was doing pretty good about hitting them fairways. The real problem with the scores was actually just really poor putting and double bunker shots and a chunky chip. It was a short game. And that gives me hope. That gives me a lot of hope. This round was redemption. The score might not show it, but it was.